so welcome again to Quick Romanian and as always you can find us on the Quick Romanian YouTube channel here we are moving on to the preposition so in this lesson we learn how to identify and use the most common prepositions so what is a preposition well like in English a preposition is the part of speech that links nouns, pronouns and phrases to other words in a sentence. The word or phrase that is introduced by the preposition is called the object of the preposition. The prepositions indicate temporal, spatial or logical relationships as well as the quantity, volume or the unit of measurement or any other things of the noun that precedes the preposition and the first specification that we can make is between uh, simple prepositions and compound prepositions alright so let's start with the simple prepositions these simple prepositions are really common and some of the most common simple prepositions are the following Pe Pe, pe means on, and here's an example. Pe masa, pe masa, on the table. Another very common preposition is sub, sub, sub means under, and we have an example here, sub pat sub pot under the bed lunga lunga lun ga lunga this one can mean by lunga masa lunga masa by the table or it can mean near Lunga Museu Lunga Museu near the museum. Here's another one Un Un which means in Un Anglia Un Anglia in England and lastly we have La la which can mean at la mine a casa at my place or it can mean to ya a plecat la bucuesti ya a plecat la bucuesti she went to Bucharest and ladies and gentlemen the compound prepositions. Here's a list of some of the most common compound prepositions. And let's start with de la, de la, de la. This means from. And here's an example de la yash, de la yash, from yash. Yash is a Romanian city somewhere in the northeastern part. Uh, Puna la. Puna la. Puna la. Which means to. Puna la Cluj. Puna la Cluj. This is another Romanian city somewhere in Transylvania in the northwestern part of the country. <clears throat> And let's move on to de pe, de pe, de pe means from, and we have here de pe masa, de pe masa, from the table. Another compound preposition that's quite common is um, puna un, puna un puna un means to plec puna un centro 
plec până în centru. I'm going to the city center. And lastly, pe lângă. Pe lângă. Pe lângă. Which means around. Magazinul e undeva pe lângă muzeu. Magazinul e undeva pe lângă muzeu. The store is somewhere around the museum. So, let's learn how to use the preposition cu and the preposition de. Cu, cu and de, de are used to indicate the quantity, the volume or the unit of measurement of the noun that precedes the preposition. And uh, let's have a couple of examples. Sticla cu apă. Sticla cu apă. A ball of water. Or you can simply use de. Sticla de apă. Sticla de apă. A ball of water. And uh, an example made specifically for uh, de. O tonă de ciment. O tonă de ciment. A ton of cement. Now, let's learn how to use de again and din. So, why de again? This time, de comes with a noun and it indicates the type of the previous noun. And uh, let's have an example. Cămașă de mătase. Cămașă de mătase. This literally means shirt of silk. Okay, when, it, when it's absolutely but absolutely necessary to specify the material used for making an object, you need to use the preposition din. Din. Okay, the preposition din, which has to be preceded by a verb. And we have an example here. Cămașă făcută din mătase. Făcută is a verb. And then we have the preposition din. Cămașă făcută din mătase, which means silk. And literally, this means shirt made from silk. So, this is the way to use the prepositions de and uh, din. So, we have de once again and pentru. So, why de again? Lastly, when followed by a noun or a verb, it reveals the purpose of the previous noun. And let's have a couple of examples. Armă de foc. Armă de foc. Which literally means weapon for fire. Or firearm. And gumă de mestecat. Gumă de mestecat. Which literally means gum for chewing. Or more commonly known as chewing gum. Well, the same rule applies to pentru, pentru, pen, tu, pentru, and let's have an, another example here, pastilă pentru febă, pastilă pentru febă, which literally means pill for fever or more commonly known as fever pill. Lastly, let's learn how to use the preposition dupa. Dupa. Du. Pa. Dupa. Well, this preposition may indicate 
allocation după magazin după magazin behind the store time după război după război after the war or models or certain pat patterns and here's an example el muncește după standard el muncește după standard he works according to the standard 